So this past weekend's been uh, pretty good for windsurfing. Uh, the wind has been up, uh, namely Saturday was the best day um, and oh, it was just absolutely pumping all day long. Uh, we had a west-southwesterly, so great direction and then low tide right at the beginning of the day around 9 o'clock and then uh, at the end of the day as well so I could pick up like two low tide. So, uh, got up super early in the morning, went down to Hailing, and it was just the yeah, air pumping. And it was really cool to see so many windsurfers out. Um, so launching up the seafront, even super early on, there was yeah, there was at least like I want to say 10 to 15 people out super early in the morning. And as the session went on, there was more and more and more. And I want to say there was best part of 50 people out there, but by, by the end, in, including kite, kite surfers as well, but. There were definitely a lot, a lot of windsurfers and being a weekend and the conditions lining up uh, it was kind of like the perfect setup for a lot of people to be around which is really cool. I was out on the uh, 105 free wave uh, and a 4.7 uh, as you saw in the last video I did a uh, pretty rubbish uh, patch job on the um, on the sail. Yeah it's just a pretty pretty dodgy job but with the with the parcel tape and uh, not to my surprise uh, that that blew out uh, it actually lasted for more than I longer than I thought it would but then uh, yeah it did, did, did blow out and I was just left with uh, a little bit of a hole in the sail but uh, the session was, was good fun actually so being a west southwesterly and I, I haven't done much I haven't done much stuff over the seafront so this is my first experience of a sort of a westerly or west southwesterly with with low tide so what happens is the the waves uh they bend around the sandbar uh and you get these uh nice waves that kind of yeah rip around so they're kind of front on waves so when you're going out uh they're kind of basically big jumping waves um and then when you're coming back in you can kind of surf them um they weren't quite big enough to properly surf um but i definitely got a, a feeling of uh, uh of doing some high jumps on the way out there uh, which was a lot of fun just getting bored out of the water getting used to being in the air uh, so I haven't done a lot of sort of big aerials but it's just getting used to being in the air but what I'd say for anyone that's getting into them uh, it, I, I felt most comfortable when um, obviously the, the boards like right underneath your feet so you want to really tuck in the, the back leg and kind of get the nose into the wind so it's kind of balanced um, that's what I found was the, the best way of hitting those high jumps as soon as you hit a ramp. Just yeah, tucking in and getting the board under the, the wind underneath the board. I still I haven't really uh, mustered up the courage to go for a forward loop. It's something that I really want to be able to do, but I just didn't quite have it in me. Uh, and especially, I felt my energy was pretty low quite quickly as. It was a bit of a struggle really in the high winds I felt like I was using my arms quite a lot um, uh, and I ended up being quite quite tired quite early on I had to sort of stop between between runs and, and stand on the beach for a bit regain my energy and go back out but uh, in terms of the, the forward loop there's so many opportunities where I just thought oh, I really want to go for it but at the same time I don't and it would kind of like bottle out and I think that's the thing about the forward loop which is so appealing is that actually not a lot of people can really do it I think because it's more of a psychological block. I've been told by so many people that um, technically it's, it's not, a, not a really tricky move to do um, and I, I know all the, all the steps to, to be able to do it it's just a case of actually just going for it and I really need to sort of convince myself out on the water there and then just to, just to go for it because I'm sure once I once I try it and crash a few times then I'll be that 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 bit closer to actually getting the move down and that's something I really want to be able to do so there's only one way to be able to actually accomplish the move is by actually trying it um, but uh, as far as the rest of the session went it was uh, it was yeah it was super fun uh, it was about uh, I don't know it was about 30 knots just under um, and it sort of yeah felt really good to be out in some high winds uh, especially as we don't get those kind of high winds in the UK that much uh, they're pretty inconsistent but when they do come in it's, it's, it's a lot of fun